In this video, we will do some examples of finding the area under a standard normal curve. So the first example we have here is z is less than negative 0.56. So first off, we always want to draw our normal curve. And so always 0 in the middle for the mean. And we want to find negative 0.56. So that's going to be about here. And we're looking at less than, so we want to shade in to the left. We always want to shade in the direction that our sign is pointing. So I'm going to go over to StatCrunch, and we already have the mean and the standard deviation, um, which will be 0 and 1 for our standard normal. And we have less than, so we're going to go ahead and put the negative 0 0.56 here. And we're going to compute it. And we end up with 0.2877. And we always want to round these to four places. So the next one we have is z is greater than negative 2.12. So instead of less than, we want to change this to greater than. And we want to change this to negative 2.12. So drawing this out, we have 0, negative 1, negative 2. And what we want to shade in is everything to the right. So we can see this should match up somewhat with our picture over here. And we get 0 0.98530, which makes sense because the majority of the curve is filled in. So the next example here, we have greater than a positive. So I'm going to draw this one out. And again, 0 in the middle. We have our 1. And 1.27 will probably be about here. So we're going to shade in this part here. Um, so you can see this is a smaller, much smaller portion shaded in than the last one. So we'll change this to 1.27. And we get 0 0.1020. So on this one, only about 10% of the curve is filled in. So the last type of problem that we have here is in between. So we want in between 1.32 and 2.51. So to do that, we're going to click on between up here at the top. And we're going to put the 1.32 here and the 2.51. And I'm going to draw this out. So for this one, we have 0, 1, 2, and we went in between the 1.32 and the 2.51. So this section here, which is also not that large, so we're going to compute, and this gives us 0 0.0873, which makes sense because we only have a small section of the curve here. So. 0.0873. So that is how you solve all the different types of areas under the standard normal curve in StatCrunch. So make sure for less than or equal to, you use the standard and change to whichever one is less than or greater than. And for in between, you're going to click on the between button up here and put in both of your values. And that's how you use StatCrunch to solve these probabilities.